Hey, hi. Hey, what's up? That's about to break his neck. This is the last time you see him in one piece. See, honey. First, we have to make sure Seth's tall enough. Yeah. I think he's going to come down up there, but I'm not sure. He's pretending not to know me. Huh? You're pretending not to know me. See you stand there. You're looking a little undergeared. No, I should have really down. I'll bite the fit in Okay, if that little guy can do it, Seth can do it, right? In theory. Up there somewhere, I lost him. Should be easy as thought he's the only one wearing just a regular helmet. A neon orange bike. There he is, I see him. Counting on him to fall. There he goes. <laughs> no worries, folks. His life insurance policy is paid up. We'll see what happens later. So Seth came back and he's about to go out again. 
If you see him, he's right there behind the guys with the full helmets. The one with the little weenie helmet, that's my husband. Hmm. He said that time he went all the way to the top. He came down the first one and went on the easy beginner thing and it was boring, he said. So he went back up and he tried a black diamond one and he was having a lot of fun. And he said some people blew right past him, but other people, he blew right past them. So he's going up and trying again. And he says, the hill is really, really big. Which, I dare say, is true. I don't know if you can see up there. There it is, there it is. Okay, you see those little cuts? That's the top of the lift he's going. Okay, he's coming all the way down and he's going through all this crazy stuff. I don't know where he came down that last time, but last time, it was the first time he came down over here with those banks. That one guy said, were good banks, but not very well made. Said they should start out thin and go wide or something. And then I, right after he said that, I watched a guy wipe out as his tire went over the top of the berm. It was great. Anyway. Oh, he's still in line. There he is. I see him. So he's having fun, but I think he misses his friend. He wants someone to ride with, and I just can't do this kind of riding. bike is on its way up, I think. That's, yep, there's his bike. And there he is. Sitting with two people he's never met. Talk to you later. Everybody else is kind of pulling in. It looks like a the bike shop is closing or something because they keep pulling in signs that say, you know, rent a camera or whatever. Those are all getting pulled in, so I think they're either closing or they're gonna stop renting stuff for the day. I don't know. Anyways, see you later. So Seth found me in the village after completing his ride, and we'll zoom in real quick. Hold still, you, on that arm. Don't take it off. Spin. Let's look at the back of him. Oh, man, my jersey's <laughs> Now your jersey's not ripped, it's just another color. Oh, man, my sunglasses aren't even broke. Cool. They're all dusty. Now, t Seth, tell the viewers at home what you did. I fell. Oh, that's not good enough. Tell us again. Oh. That's not bad. You got a little road rash on your shoulder. Oh, that ain't that bad. Let me see the road rash. Full size. That rolled good in back. Yeah, very nice. Tell us what happened, Seth. Recount the story for us. I went over a you thought you were 18. <laughs> and what did the guy right behind you do? Cleared it. And? Look at this. Dust everywhere. Oh, no, no, no. Focus. What did the guy behind you do? What? He cleared the jump. And? He had a downhill bike. It wasn't fair. <laughs> did he maybe do an awesome trick that was really easy for him? It was really cool. <laughs> Say bye to the camera and the folks at home. How was you, camera?